Hi loves, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to do an exciting video. This is going to be my top colorful eyeshadow palettes. Now on my channel you guys have seen like neutral looks, you've seen colorful looks, but I'm more into like the wearable pop of color. I'm not going to lie, within the past couple of months my taste has definitely been a little bit more on the neutral side, but since the spring hit I've really been back into color, but one thing about me is I do prefer like a wearable pop of color, so if I do like a really bold eye makeup look like what I have on my face today, I'm pretty much going to have a really boring lip. And that's just how I like it. If I don't do any eyeshadow, I might have on a bold lip. I just can't do the bold eyes and the bold lip. It's just not my style. But you guys know I love a good colorful palette. So I thought I would bring to you my favorite colorful eyeshadow palettes. And this has to do with the color option and the color quality. Because one thing I do notice with colorful eyeshadow palettes is the quality is a lot of the times it is not there. I need something that blends well, that's pigmented. I don't even care about fallout. As long as it blends well and it builds up like I need it to do, then it's a good quality palette. So I brought to you guys nine gorgeous, colorful eyeshadow palettes that you guys should try out if you are looking for a colorful eyeshadow palette. So if you guys want to see what those are, just keep watching. So the first eyeshadow palette I do have is one that many of you may not consider a colorful palette, but it is. But this is for people who are not into super bold colorful palettes. I'm just going to be honest, this is going to be the most subtle colorful palette that I have to show you in today's video. But if you like a pop of color but you need it a little bit more toned down, you're going to love this palette. It retails for $49 and is by Urban Decay. It is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. It is a good formula. It's very buttery, very creamy, and it is fun. There's lots of tones in here, but you can definitely keep it subtle with the transition shades. I feel like transition shades kind of give you an idea of what type of looks you'll be going for and because there's so many brown tones in here you can definitely have like that wearable pop of color but keep it neutral with like a brown in the crease and maybe a pop of pink on the lids just to keep like tone it down a little bit so if you guys are kind of scared of like you know neon transition shades and things like that and you want colorful but like subtle you'll definitely Probably only like this palette from what I'm about to show you. So this is by Urban Decay and it is the Born to Run palette. And it's a really good palette. It's a little bit boring for me, but it is still a good palette. And I have created some gorgeous looks out of this eyeshadow palette. The packaging is beautiful. I, I love like all the different like locations on here, like San Francisco and China and the beach and stuff. Next eyeshadow palette was kind of a surprise to the brand just because we've never seen the brand come out with something this bold. It is the Anastasia Riviera palette. I remember when I first did a look on this, I literally was doing a tutorial and I was like, this eyeshadow palette is pronounced Riviera palette because many people would come into the store saying like Riviera palette, like giving it all types of pronunciations. So. When I was doing my tutorial, I said just in case there's any confusion, the name is Riviera Palette. And this girl literally started going off on me in the comments like, why are you telling people how to say it? Nobody says it like that. Blah, 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 blah. Like, ma'am, relax. Like, I work at Sephora. You'll be surprised how often many brands and many things are mispronounced just because some, like, people will tell people about a certain thing and, like, they'll tell the person They'll pronounce it wrong to the person, so then the person will come into the store saying it wrong. It's really funny. Actually, a lot of people actually mispronounce Anastasia and say Anastasia, which I actually did myself before I got into makeup. So it's not uncommon, but this girl literally just started going off of me. Good old, good old days when I had about 60 subscribers. But anyway, this one is probably one of the most used eyeshadow palettes in my collection. Now this one you are not going to get a neutral look with. The transition shades, the matte shades in here are just so bold. It just won't work. This white in this eyeshadow palette is one of the best whites I have ever used in eyeshadow. This is a great palette. I've already hit pan on this shade. These shades are really like dented in. When I got this palette, I was literally using it for like three months straight without touching any other palette. But this is one of my favorite colorful eyeshadow palettes. Now there's only 14 shades in here, but you can still make some gorgeous looks out of this eyeshadow palette. And this one retails for either $42 or $45. I can't remember, so let's just say $45. 
but I think you're going to actually have to get this from Anastasia's website because I'm pretty sure it's still available. But let me know if I'm incorrect and it's not available anymore. I just know it's not available within Sephora anymore. Next eyeshadow palette we have for colorful palettes is by my own brand, which is called Cory G Indianapolis. I just kind of kept the name of my YouTube channel because Cory G Indianapolis. It's just simple. Like... It's simple. So this is my Lioness eyeshadow palette. It's in gold packaging with obviously my logo. And this is a fresh new palette. And you can pull these out and put them in like a makeup kit and or like reorganize them. But you guys, I love this palette. For those of you who have this palette, you guys know how good the mattes are. You guys know how buttery all the shades are, how easily they blend, and how many looks you can get. You can get like a subtle look or a bold look. You can just, I'm, I'm trying to make it simple. So you can mix all the pinks together, you can mix all the blues together, all the purples, all the greens, and just do like one tone, like one color with like different tones of that color. Or you can just mix these up and do something really, really bold. So I love this eyeshadow palette. It definitely was the something I needed to my brand because you guys know I have a more subtle eyeshadow palette that's more of like an everyday eyeshadow palette. So of course I wanted to add something that was super colorful and fun to play with but that you could still tone down if you wanted to. So that's why I picked those colors out and I love that eyeshadow palette. When it does come to colorful eyeshadow palettes, for some reason, I do feel like the drugstore and indie brands kind of take the cake. I just feel like the high-end and luxury makeup, I guess because it is high-end and luxury makeup, they don't really do too many like super rainbow vibrant like color stories. I guess because that's not like the vibe. I feel like super bold and colorful is more for people who are more creative, usually a bit younger and things like that. So I feel like the drugstore makeup is a little bit more geared towards that. So one brand in particular that I feel like hit the nail on the head with a colorful eyeshadow palette is Makeup Revolution. And it was a collab with Patricia Bright who is a YouTuber. I'm. She either does like beauty or lifestyle, I can't remember, but this is a good eyeshadow palette. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the shimmers are a little bit difficult to work with. They do kind of fade away on the eyes, but the glitters last a super long time and the sh like the regular shimmers, it's, it's certain formulas of the shimmers that just aren't the best, but the glitters last and then the mattes are super, super creamy, super blendable, and the shades show up, they're pigmented, it's not a lot of fallout. It comes with a ginormous mirror, and this eyeshadow palette I believe was only $25, but it was a really good eyeshadow palette. But speaking of Makeup Revolution, I feel like their best colorful eyeshadow palette was definitely the one in collaboration with Tammy Clark. Now, I do think that there is another colorful palette by Tammy Clark. I've never gotten that one, but this one is the bomb. I heard the other one is good. I've never tried it, so I can't speak on it. But this one is the Tropical Twilight, and it's neutral and colorful. You guys, this palette is gorgeous. It She, I think, released this. It was like sometime last summer because I got it before I went to California, and I wore this like every day I was down there. This is such a beautiful palette, you guys. Tammy is like one of the queens of color here on YouTube. And I would definitely say, because a lot of the times when she's doing color, she always does a nude lip like myself. So if you guys haven't checked her channel, I don't think she's posted in a minute, but she usually is pretty consistent. This is a great colorful eyeshadow palette. The glitters are perfect. The only thing I will say is the shimmers again in this palette. And I don't think it's the palette. I think it's Makeup Revolution's brand. For some reason, their shimmers are a little weird. And maybe I'm not applying them the right way. Maybe there's a better way to apply them. But the mattes and the glitters, you guys, are amazing. So if you haven't tried this palette out, I definitely recommend that you do. The next eyeshadow palette I'm going to recommend is the one by Juvia's Place. This is the Wahala eyeshadow palette. Now, they did say this was limited edition and it was never coming back. But then they lied because it came back. And I believe it is still on the website. This one, to me, is a little bit harder to come up with looks for just because there's not a lot of deep shades. But trust me, when you do come up with some looks, they will be very gorgeous. Juvia's Place has beautiful eyeshadows. They're buttery, they blend, and they're fun. And I always enjoy the packaging, which is usually like African-themed, which is so beautiful. It brings me back to my roots. 
but you guys Juvia's Place just kills it all the time when it comes to eyeshadow palettes so if you haven't gotten your hands on this palette this one is good I say get this before it goes just because it is limited edition and it is very unique another colorful rainbow palette is the one by Elf and Jay Kissa. I was surprisingly really impressed by this eyeshadow palette, but let me just say the past year or two, Elf has really just, they've been killing it. You guys know I'm not a huge drugstore girl, but they have been killing it. Like the stuff I try from Elf, I really enjoy. So this is the, a rainbow palette, all the shades I've actually used despite what it may look like. You guys, I keep my makeup really clean, so don't be suspicious of how my makeup looks but I've used every shade in here and they have all performed very very well if you haven't tried this eyeshadow palette I definitely recommend that you do it is fun it is like it's super fun and again along like with my lioness palette it's easy to come up with a color story and it's like if you want you can just use all the reds together all the oranges like each like one color and just different formulations of that color or you can just do something fun and mix them all up so if you guys haven't tried this palette this is a fun rainbow palette and it's super affordable it is by elf and of course i personalize mine my dog's name is shadow he's a golden retriever so i just put like this his name on here and a dog paw and bone with a little heart. The next palette I have is a brand that you, a lot of you probably never heard of. This is Mora. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Mora, Miora Cosmetics. I don't know, it's the Sweet Paradise palette. They are, they've been around for like a long time, but it's more of like an indie brand. You don't really see a lot of them like, like household names like L'Oreal and stuff like that. But you guys look at this. These colors are so rich and so pigmented out of all of the eyeshadow palettes for the most part this one has to have probably some of the most pigmented eyeshadow palette eyeshadow shades i've ever seen they are super bold and vibrant these are highlighters over here i don't use these that often but i use all of these very often they are so bold and so beautiful at the same time they blend perfectly you guys don't be alarmed this is really fun to work with and They've got transition shades. The, the reason why this comes off a little bit more bold is because a lot of the transition shades are super, super dark. So it makes the look very like bold, grabs your attention. But you guys, the palette is beautiful. It works perfectly. If you haven't heard of Mora Cosmetics, they have way more than just this eyeshadow palette. But I just really enjoy this one. This one was a gift to me and I have been loving this for like the past two years since I got it. So if you haven't heard of this brand, I definitely recommend that you guys go and check them out. And then the last eyeshadow palette I have is a newer to my collection. But you guys, I've seen so many reviews on it. I finally tried it on myself and then I actually have it on my eyes today. This is the Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti Palette. Now it's making me want Carnival 1 and 2, whatever those are. I pretty much have all of the greens on my eyes today, plus the black. I have on, except for this green up here, I have on all the greens and I have on the black on my eyes. This is such a beautiful palette. I have swatched them. I have watched so many reviews, so many tutorials. Look at that. This is just so fun for spring and summer. So I can't wait to get more use out of this. Because of the change in season, it's kind of inspired me to make this palette just because I know a lot of people are more into color when the sun is out, when the sun is shining. So this is just such a fun palette. I cannot wait to play with this even more. Now that I've finished this look, I have so many more looks I wanna do with this palette. This one right now is probably my favorite besides my Lioness palette in this entire pile. You guys, this one is not traditional US dollars. This one is like 42 pounds, which is like 54, 52 US dollars. I got mine off of Beauty Bay, which the shipping, uh, it was a little long, but Beauty Bay is based in UK, so I guess. But that is it for my best uh, colorful rainbow eyeshadow palette collection. I hope you guys were inspired. If you guys have these palettes, you guys don't need to buy new palettes. Pull those out and start making some rainbow looks. It is spring. It's about to be summer, you guys. Let's have fun with our makeup and let's stop telling people to stop wearing so much makeup because we're not going to stop. Don't let anybody hold you back, you guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was fun. 
Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel before you leave. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.